Building muscle and bulking up is something that I personally struggled with and spent a lot of time working on. And if there's one thing that you'll learn pretty quickly about packing on size, it's the fact that it's much harder than most people think. Very few people anticipate just how difficult sticking to a proper bulking diet plan can be. And without following the right diet guidelines, it doesn't matter how hard you're working out, you're just gonna be spinning your wheels, wasting your time. So I have nine unique tips for those of you that are looking to consistently pack on muscle and bulk up faster. And the very first tip is to get used to feeling stuffed in the same way that you would have to accept sometimes feeling hungry if you were cutting your calories. Now, I know this may not sound very complex, but I would say that this is the number one reason that'll prevent most people from bulking up. Most people stop eating when they start feeling full. If they're still full a few hours later when they're supposed to eat another meal, they'll just skip that meal. This would be equivalent to following a fat loss diet plan where every time you got hungry, you would just add a meal. Obviously, that would knock you out of your calorie deficit and prevent fat loss. So the point is that if you want to bulk up and you want to do it fast, you will have to get used to the discomfort that comes with eating when you truly just don't want to eat anymore. And there's really no way around that stuff feeling if you're creating a calorie surplus with the right foods. So what I mean by that is anyone can just add a bunch of sugar to their diet and jack up their calories. But if you're following a proper bulking plan, instead of having having your carbs come from sugar, your carbs are going to be coming from sources like brown rice, sweet potatoes, yams, and oatmeal. All of these carbohydrate sources contain far more muscle building nutrients than something like sugar, but they're also all much more filling. So taking in 300 to 400 grams of carbs per day is actually very challenging when you're doing it with healthy muscle building carbohydrate sources. And that's why there's really no way around feeling stuffed and you have to actually accept that and grind through the unpleasant feelings that come with feeling stuffed if you want to consistently continue bulking. And since we're talking about carbs, another thing that you should do is drastically increase your carb consumption. Protein gets almost all the credit when it comes to building muscle, but carbs are almost equally as important because to build anything, especially muscle, it requires a lot of energy. Unfortunately, a lot of people are either afraid of carbs or they just don't realize how many carbohydrates it takes to bulk up. You don't want to be one of these people because there are so many advantages to having a high carb diet while bulking. First of all, it'll increase your strength and power output during your weightlifting sessions. Weightlifting is considered an anaerobic activity, and the anaerobic energy pathway is primarily driven by glycogen, which is the broken down and stored form of carbohydrates. So eating more carbs will help you lift heavier weights, which will lead to more muscle growth. The other benefit of a high carb diet is that it has a protein sparing effect. This is important because you want the protein that you're eating throughout the day to be used to rebuild and grow your broken down muscles. You don't want your body using that protein for energy and having a high carb diet helps you stay in an anabolic muscle building mode by using carbs to supply your body the energy it needs while sparing protein so it can be used to build muscle. A moderate to high carb diet will also positively affect muscle building hormones like testosterone and reduce hormones that prevent muscle growth like cortisol. So bottom line, make sure you're eating enough carbs. This can range anywhere from four to seven grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight, depending on several variable factors like your metabolism and your workouts. Now eating 300 to 400 grams of healthy carbs per day is tough, but one thing you could do to help is add a homemade weight gainer shake to your diet. I don't recommend that you use the pre-made weight gainer powders that you could buy at your local supplement store because it usually contains some low quality protein concentrate mixed with lots of sugar and is sold for a premium price. Instead, you can make a much higher calorie shake using real food. My favorite way to make this is by taking a blender, adding in half a cup of oatmeal, one and a half to two scoops of whey protein powder, one whole banana, and one to two tablespoons of peanut butter, and then topping the whole thing off with whole milk. After you blend all of it, you're left with a monstrous weight gainer shake packed full of muscle building protein, carbs, and fats. This shake is perfect if you're struggling to eat enough to meet your daily targets, and it's great if you're in too much of a rush to actually make a real meal. You can also have this shake after your workouts, but if you do, just make sure that you switch the whole milk for skim milk for faster absorption. Another supplement that can help is casein. Casein is a dairy-based protein source that's a lot slower digesting than the whey protein that most people take after their workouts. And both casein and whey actually come from cow's milk. About 82% of the protein found in milk is casein, and the other 18% is whey. 
However, even though they both come from the same place, whey can be digested in under 20 minutes, while casein can take up to four hours to fully digest. This is why it's better to have whey protein after workout, since the amino acids will quickly release into your bloodstream and stimulate the muscle repair process. On the other hand, casein will be a much better protein source to have before going to bed because it'll slowly release into your bloodstream while you sleep, which can help with recovery and help keep your body in a muscle building state. In one study, researchers found that a casein protein shake before bedtime helped one group of men pack on almost two times more muscle than the other group that wasn't supplementing with casein before bed. Now, with that said, you absolutely do not have to supplement with a casein powder to reap these benefits. There are many whole food protein sources that are naturally high in casein, such as milk, cottage cheese, and yogurt. And this is actually the next tip. Do your best to stick to whole food over supplementation whenever possible. Yes, it's completely fine to have a whey protein shake at the end of your workout and a casein shake before bed, but the majority of your meals should be made up of real whole food. This is because building muscle is about more than just meeting your protein, carb, and fat macronutrient targets for the day. Of course, getting in all your macronutrients is important and protein shakes can help you get those macros, but they fall short when it comes to the micronutrients. Many micronutrients that are found in real high protein foods like fish and eggs happen to be very important for the muscle building process. In fact, according to recent studies, the micronutrients found in whole food protein sources may even increase the muscle growth response. So just make sure the majority of your meals are solid foods and not liquid supplements. Now the next important thing that can help you bulk up faster is to have either a moderate or a high meal frequency. Yes, you can still build muscle while even intermittent fasting. It is possible to only eat a couple meals a day and still gain mass, especially if you're just starting out. I have a whole video about intermittent fasting and muscle growth that I'll link up in the description below. But if your goal is purely to bulk up faster and you're no longer a beginner, eating more often can help produce better results. This is because your body switches between building muscle and breaking muscle down throughout the day. To keep your body in more of a muscle building state, you wanna maintain a positive nitrogen balance. To accomplish that, it's best to supply your body with an even and consistent amount of protein, either in the form of a protein packed meal or a protein shake at least once every three to four hours. So even if you wanna have fewer meals throughout the day, you should try to have at least three to four spaced out meals. Not only will this help keep your body in a positive nitrogen balance, but it can also help make it easier to eat all the calories and macros that you're required to eat every day to grow. The next tip is to structure your biggest meals around two key times of the day, breakfast and after your workout. With breakfast, yes, it is possible to still build muscle while skipping breakfast entirely, but it's not optimal. This is once again because even if you take casein before bed, your body will digest and assimilate it within a few hours. So by the time you wake up, you'll once again be in a negative nitrogen balance. We want to reverse this and put our body back into a muscle building state as soon as possible by having a big breakfast packed full of protein. After your workout, your body's in a similar situation. Even if you have a high protein meal before your workout, the workout itself will break down muscle tissue and create a negative nitrogen balance. So once again, having a protein shake after your workout and then following that up 30 to 60 minutes later with a large meal packed full of protein and carbohydrates is the ideal strategy. Doing this will not only put you right back into a positive nitrogen balance, but eating a large amount of carbs will also replenish your glycogen stores and provide the energy that you need for your next workout. Having a meal packed with carbs after your workout will also spike your insulin levels, which will help shuttle the protein into your muscle cells. There's actually some old bodybuilding advice to take half of your daily calories and divide it between your breakfast and post-workout meals. Even though you don't have to eat exactly 50% of your calories between those two meals, ensuring that those are your bigger meals of the day can help with both recovery and growth. Next, I wanna mention one last supplement that can definitely help you bulk up faster, and that's creatine. Creatine is one of the few supplements that has consistently proven to be safe and effective for muscle growth. And if you wanna bulk up fast, you can do a loading phase where you saturate your body full of creatine and maximize your creatine stores within just three to four days. You would do this by taking a larger serving of about 20 grams of creatine alongside with a simple carbohydrate like grape juice to help spike your insulin levels and funnel the creatine into your muscle cells. Even though this loading method only takes three to four days, you can also choose not to load and simply take five grams of creatine per day. 
Ultimately, after about three weeks, your muscles should be equally as saturated with creatine as if you loaded, since your body can't exceed the storage capacity for creatine. And when your muscles are fully saturated, as long as you're not one of the few people that are unresponsive to creatine, it'll not only help you build more muscle, but it'll also improve your strength and performance. Finally, the last tip is to reevaluate your progress and make adjustments to your plan every couple weeks. If you feel like you're eating a whole lot of food every day, but you're not building any noticeable muscle and you're not gaining any weight on the scale, then that means that you need to be eating even more. Even if you're tracking your calories and your macros and you're hitting the calorie surplus numbers that a macro calculator gave you, but you're still not gaining weight, that means that you need to eat more. The same can be said about gaining too much weight or body fat too quickly. If you notice that you're gaining a ton of fat, try decreasing the amount of carbs and fats that you're eating to gain weight at a slower pace. The sweet spot is to gain about anywhere from half a pound to one and a half pounds per week. During your first and second week, you may gain more weight than that, but after that, adjust your diet so that you stay in between that half a pound to one and a half pound range per week. That about wraps it up guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also keep in mind that even though your diet is extremely important, it also needs to be combined with hard work in the gym. So if you feel like you need any extra help with developing an effective workout or diet plan based on your goals, visit my website by clicking the link in the description below. We have everything from workout plans designed to get you to build muscle to recipe books that'll help you burn fat and one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you that need more help with your specific problems. So if you wanna skip all the trial and error and get fast streamlined results without even having to think about it, you can click the link below in the description or you could visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.